Hi there Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your 2020 yearly tarot reading forecast with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the general overview for 2020 by picking up one card per month that gives us the general vibration and energy throughout the entire year. So this way you will be able to know what you can expect, anticipate, and prepare for for the upcoming year ahead. Do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not really occur and resonate with you entirely. The only way that you will be able to know that is to go back on this video, maybe once we enter 2020 and, you know, from time to time, look back on it and see if it is really manifesting and happening for you entirely. Or, of course, a personal reading is the only way to, you know, give you guys a solid prediction that one at is really for you specifically. But um, yeah, this is a general reading. So um, just keep that in mind as you go along with me. Also, this reading is indeed um, card reading for per month but i do also have flashes of insights and a bit of channeling here and there so don't be surprised if i add in some information along the way so um yeah without any further ado let's get on to um looking over for january of 2020 and we have this knight of swords so this is a point we're in some form of news could be coming in your life. It could be um, abrupt change, abrupt news. It could be, you know, this is a situation wherein all of your plans are not really happening within plans because you might be doing something very spontaneous, which is always a positive thing. Or it could be someone or something changes things for you like a sudden event could happen expected not expected good surprise blood surprise um this is like a game changer or a card or an element we're in it gives a form of excitement in the air knight of swords can be a form of news a, a form of you know it's something that there is going to be a flash of insight that you will find out and figure out along the way. Because it is coming towards you, I kind of feel that this could be something not within your control, but it can also be a situation wherein you might be this knight of swords. You might be the one making the change, making this impulsive decision or action. But I kind of feel that, you know, regardless of what this might represent for you, um, it is all a positive thing because you are taking action. Something is creating movement and forward momentum in your life as you go to 2020. Now, for February, you have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is not really the most wonderful card for the month of February because the month of February is like, you know, the love month. And if you're having this card, I mean, it's not a love reading. So I'm not really saying that this is going to be happening for you in terms of love. But there is an energy here wherein you might be um, getting confused about something. There could be something that is... I don't know. There's just an isolation that I'm getting here. It could be that there's just a lot of thoughts in your mind and maybe you're not really in the mood for love. I don't know. You are hiding from something or someone or there's just something that is not making you happy. Whether you are in a relationship, I kind of feel that, you know, you might be questioning a lot of things that you have been doing those kinds of stuff also this can be a situation that you might be thinking about someone in particular which may not be in your life at this time because we do have the eight of swords i have noticed that the eight of swords is the point we're in 
you always think about something, you always think about someone, and you know nothing is really happening, but you're just thinking about them. You get you're getting stressed and frustrated about thoughts and longing about this person. So there could be that kind of energy surrounding the month of February. And as we go over to March, we do have this Justice card, and this creates balance into things. And I really like it that the Justice and Temperance are together over here, along with the Judgment card, even. And I am repeating this to every video that I'm making. Um, even though I pick one card per month, you know, the outline of the cards and the positioning has its own energy so if they are together i kind of feel that the energy is mixed in and that creates a vibration to the entire year of 2020 for you so, so um yeah just this card there is a form of balance um correcting something creating some form of settlement so you could be resolving issues in terms of either a relationship or some form of litigation that is very much possible um, bringing a form of harmony back in place but notice that you know you are Pisces everything should be watery for you but we do have a lot of swords here the first three months you know this justice card uh, the lady is holding a sword so I treat that as a sword energy so we have this um, January, February, March having that energy of intellect and a lot of um, strategic skills that needs to be practiced, I would say. So this can also be a form of communication time. You could be thinking about fixing things, working on things. Think about everything Mercury. It can be something to do with trade or day-to-day -day life communication with people your thought process can be in focus at this time with the justice here i kind of feel that you are wanting to harmonize things wanting to correct things that maybe were not balanced in your life regardless what that is so you are working on it wanting to create balance this is also an official news official document or some form of official agreement that can come which can be both positive or negative but i do see this as a positive tone to things so you might be able to balance things out by then or at the very least you are trying to work to balance it it's the energy that is presenting us so as we go over to april we do have this temperance card and again this has a very balancing tone to things and the Empress, the Temperance is like a reconciliation card as well. So you might be trying to mend things, fix things, you know. And I really like the fact that by the Justice and Temperance, there is an energy here wherein you're trying to be practical and logical about certain things, but with an element of emotions and love to it. So... Um, this can really be very positive and very harmonious like you're trying to make peace with something or with someone especially if you guys if this is a love or you know a friendship or whatever this could be a scenario wherein you're trying to make peace with that person and trying to resolve things right there and you know you will be able to do it maybe um, highly possible but it's not going to be happening in the blink of an eye. Like it's an ongoing process. So moderation is definitely going to be the key. There is definitely some form of insight and positive situation that can come through this month. Which can be really um, bring some form of happiness and uplift you emotionally and energetically as a whole. So as we go over to May, we have this judgment card. So this could be an, a conclusion of something. Maybe you are going to be meeting a lot of people. Um, giving you, you are probably going to either receive news or you're the one who is going to be giving them some form of news. 
into whatever venture you are undergoing through right now. So this can be a time of welcoming people. I don't know. This is just the channeling message that I'm getting here. You might be, you know, connecting with a lot of people, trying to talk to them, trying to... Um, I just kind of feel that energy we're in. You are being welcomed by people as if you have been through something and you have been away for such a long time. And they are welcoming you back. They are welcoming you back in their life, in their own field. So this could be like, you know, maybe you have been overseas and you're not suddenly coming back into your homeland and your family members are there uh, waiting for you and really happy to receive you back in their life. That kind of energy things. This can also be a conclusion of peace and harmony and some form of settlement that could come about. It could be a conclusion about um, this scenario that you're trying to fix, trying to mend. And maybe there's going to be answers for the month of May. So it's really going to be interesting how that really unfolds for you. And as we go over to, to June, we have this King of Pentacles. This could be you. This could be someone in particular in your life. This could be a person that can be very important to you and someone who has it all blessed with good fortune with a lot of insights in him also this can be someone arrogant so if this is you i hope that you're not getting it in your head especially if you have attained success do know that all success are temporary, you know? Um, and you shouldn't really forget to be humble if this is you. If this is not you, then this could be someone else that you have to deal with. And, you know, they're really good. And if they do something harmful to you or insensitive, do know that it's not really intentional. And that's just the way that they are. So um, try to forgive them, okay? Um, yeah, but this is a good thing because I kind of feel that you will benefit from this energy or from this person in your life. But, you know, in an unhealthy and negative way, this could be someone narcissistic or someone, uh, I don't know, a pig-headed person or something like that, which you might have to deal with and stress about for this month as we go over to july we have the four of swords and this could be a time of rest a time of prayer a time of reflecting with life or a time of just plain stability it could be some form of stagnation though feeling lazy you don't want to do anything and yeah you just wanted to indulge with with life not really indulge in like in a pleasurable way but indulge in what is comfortable to you you just don't want to do anything that is really possible but you know it can be both a positive and negative thing because it can mean that nothing really special is happening in your life and you might take that in a positive way and you might also take that in a negative way i really don't know but this can really tell us that um hey you are also protected by this energy this can also mean that you just need to take a break from your from everything so this can be a time that you might want to take a vacation or just go to sleep maybe you haven't been you have been working yourself too much and you have been lacking sleep then this is the time that is telling us that hey you need it you need to have a break as well because Nothing is going to happen by overwhelming you. Trying to force hard work is not really the most, the best way to handle the energy. You know, sometimes the more you work hard on things, the more you hold on to things, the more it slips away from you. So don't forget to have a break um, from time to time. As we go over to August, we have this Seven of Cups. And this can be 
an idealistic time or a very confusing time, either of those things. This can be a time wherein you might be confused with a lot of things. Maybe you have been not resting and trying to work everything out to a point wherein you are going to start overwhelming yourself and you might get confused as a result. And, you know, it. this might affect your relationships with people and maybe with your work life or, you know, everything in general might be affected by this. So um, having a healthy mind, well-being is going to be very important for you, Pisces, because if not, you know, this energy can overwhelm you. And together with this Nine of Cups, you need to be careful on what you are engaging on and what you are doing. Maybe you might indeed um, indulge with, with the pleasures of life, but you don't really know if that is really good for you. I mean, too much of a good thing is not really a good thing, right? I mean, it can, but sometimes it really isn't. And that's just the reality of things. And with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups all together here, I kind of feel that there could be an element wherein you're not being too realistic with things. So you are maybe going by your own emotions, your own feelings, and not really thinking about what other people think, their own opinions. You're not really, you know, you are, it's like you're a sensitive Pisces. But I kind of feel that you are sensitive with your own self. You're not really becoming sensitive right now of other people. Wherein that's what you need. You need to, take, to, to pay attention to other people all at the same time. It has the energy here of the Eight of Swords. So um, it is blindfolded. So there is an energy here that, hey, you're not seeing everything clearly. Or maybe you're trying to not see them. Which can be quite terrible if you put it that way, right? So, um, yeah, you need to be careful, though. Also, this always talks about certain desires. So, maybe you are wanting everything and you might do something that is not really morally accepted or not really with integrity. And if that is the case, you need to be careful. But other than that, this could be just a time of, you know, em being emotional with things um, and getting confused as a result. Some form of overwhelming factor could be in place here. So as we go over to September, we do have this Nine of Cups. This could be a situation wherein, you know, your wishes are granted. Something really some form of happiness can really enter your life at this time and you are at the receiving end wherein you are receiving a lot of love, a lot of blessing in your life. Just be careful to not get so full of yourself that you take for granted the people that are giving you a lot of love, that are putting their attention towards you. So, um, yeah, also, this is the card we're in. I have to say, don't get lazy, okay? Don't get lazy and don't indulge too much. I mean, it's okay, it's fun, but do know that, you know, indulgement of things that are excessive is not really healthy. And I just have to repeat that over and over again for you to understand because, um, it can bring you happiness and success, but do know that all emotions are not continuous. All our emotions are up and down, just like success and failure. There is a thin line between them. So um, yeah, you need to keep that in mind. This can be a situation where in, hey, you're finally getting together with the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams. A relationship can happen you know that kind of thing maybe it's what you have been praying for and wishing for and it's not really happening right in front of your eyes in reality that is really possible as well now as we go over to october we do have the hierophant card i really really like this energy 
because we do have the temperance card higher fun card justice and judgment so this makes me feel like um i really like star cross lovers but um yeah that energy of being with someone in a very spiritual level as well spiritual and material level coming together that kind of thing there is some form of union or promise that can happen here could be a marriage it could be a relationship that comes in official agreement this can also be a situation of you know you might meet the teacher that comes into your life some form of balance and harmony is in your life is also possible and whenever i see the hierophant card i always just you know i'm always reminded of a matrimony session wherein you know you see a pope there is um a promise of the bride and the and the groom those kinds of things but um yeah especially with that temperance card on top i just kind of feel that you know some form of emotions are coming aligned together and that is always exciting and that is always um you know can bring an energy of love i would say love that is true love that is kind love that is really faithful and yeah there is a form of foundation in the things and it's all coming together all coming in place at the right time at the right place so um yeah as we go over to november we do have this two of pentacles and this is about balancing things in your life um it could be a balance of work and love as a whole but balance in everything in your life it could be money decisions you need to be serious about how you are handling money overall you know don't try to spend too much on your um material desires maybe you don't really need something but you keep buying them you need to um hand know and learn how to handle your own finances and not rely too much on other people to give you material things in your life you need to learn how to handle them yourself is what i'm getting here this could be a, a situation maybe you are handling two things at the same time either you are thinking of dropping one or you need to work on how to you know um really work with these two energies in place so um yeah it can be challenging but it can also be just life itself you just need to balance everything because that's just what life is all about right nothing comes just in a solo everything everything comes in duo kind of thing everything comes in two basically as we go over to december we have this star card and this brings you some form of um insight and inspiration into things there is a form of hope in the air that can you know i kind of feel that there is something to be hopeful about at the end of the year for you guys so it can be very emotional time intuitive time and if you notice the star card you know it has this it has a ripple effect with the ocean but it seems a lot smoother that kind of thing i really don't know how to explain that but i just kind of feel that there's just you know a very smooth happening in terms of love smooth sailing emotions that can give you a sense of life contentment wherein you might feel you don't need anything anymore because everything was given to you and all you can really do right now is to be really thankful about life be thankful of the things that are happening for you as a whole and yeah i'm really happy for you guys pisces too now your advice card you have over here is the lover's card hello and this is all about relationships choices and decisions as well so this could be a time we're in a year of meeting your life partner that is really possible a life partner or a certain person in your life that you can really spend your life with or some form of situation wherein you need to take action on things 
make a decision, some form of conclusion into place, I kind of feel that it has a lot to do with divine timing and having divine help in your life. And regardless if it's about love in general as a whole, there is help in the air for you. And that is always a positive thing. So um, yeah, this ends my 2020 yearly forecast. And thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity into your year, into your situation, hopefully. And if you'd like a more personal reading with me, just go to my website, inthestarsbychrissy.com. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys again on my next video.